Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And I am so glad you are here today with me. And you know we're going to talk about something and everything. We're going to get into it. But I just wanted to say hello and hopefully each and every one of you all are doing fantastic. Welcome back. That's the next thing I have to tell y'all. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to the channel. Then you had to come over here. You sure did. But you were like, let me go see what they are talking about. I know she ain't talking about nothing but a piece of shit. But it's something. And I'm going to go on over there and get me my, li- my little kikis and my little ha-has. Okay? But don't forget, as you come into the house, or if you're when you leave in the house, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Come off that fence. Come off that curb. Come from in the bushes. Just come on into the house. And I say welcome to my YouTube family. Okay? But as we always have to say, like, share, and subscribe, and comment. You know I like the comments, even though y'all be coming for a sister, but it is what it is. That is my channel, okay? That's my original channel, and this is my second channel, all right? We need you all to go over there, do your thing, uh, subscribe to the channel so we continue to grow, all right? But we know you have to use this fair disclaimer act. Everything we doing over here is alleged. Alleged, alleged, alleged. Get it into your mind. Everything you're hearing over here at the house is alleged. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because we don't know nothing to be factual because we're too sorry to go into, you know, just to go in, into investigating the situation. Unless it's just one thing that just, you know, just picking at me, just gnawing at me. And I have to go see it for myself. But then that would be an exclusive. Okay? So, we don't get too much into those, but you know we got to have a talk. We got to have a conversation. We got to get into it, because this person that we're going to be talking about, child, <laughs> child, I can't keep it undercover any longer. We got to talk about it. We got to have a conversation, and why don't we get right on into it? Jeannie, Mai, and Jeezy. Who would have thought? <clears throat> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I thought they were part of the club, you know, the enlightened ones, the illuminated ones. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. I guess Jeezy got tired of the Asian persuasion. Oh, what did she do, Jeezy? What did she do? Did she catch her with the pool boy? Did you catch him with the shell? Did you catch him with the spa man? Now you're by yourself. Oh, my goodness. Did I do it? I think I did. I think I did. I think I, think I did. Boy, I, I don't know what to really say. Because actually, how they were interacting in the social media world, it was just like they were flawless, you know? She was looking good. He was looking good. They had a baby that's looking good. So I really don't know what the problem would be unless he called her cheating. She called him cheating. Okay. Then we have to go with the situation where uh, she wasn't a ride or die chick, you know, because he's a part of another club. You know, when he was saying, if don't be a snitch, don't mention my name. Oh, y'all yeah, remember that song? I forgot what it is. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe she didn't fit just in the rap club or the gang club. You know, he was doing some things and he didn't think she was going to be able to hold it down. You know, she might snitch on him or something like that. He said, uh-uh, she can't be in this life, not with my child. So, that had to vanish that. 
So then I thought about, well, hell, maybe they're in some financial situations and they, it just ain't hit the fan yet. But uh, that could be not necessarily true. But, you know, things happen. You know, people get tired of each other. People grow tired of each other within a month or two, okay, a year or so. And you're right here. But luckily, they both got prenups. And I guess it was a fair exchange that they wouldn't have got married in the first place. You know, that's another thing. Maybe she hired him to have a baby because she couldn't have a baby. I don't know because she's very sociable. She loves the Internet. She loves being seen on camera. Uh, she loves uh, high-class social scenes. So, you know, maybe, you know, she cleaned up Jeezy's image and put him in a different light with a, uh, a different group of people, you know what I'm saying? So he won't have to be doing a jail time. He can be sitting down out on the yacht doing uh, daylight savings time, you know what I'm saying? Chilling and like a villain, but still getting that money, okay? So uh, let's go on and read what U.S. Weekly had to put out for us about them, too, because those are just speculations, okay? Assumptions, nothing is known per to be a fact situation, okay? I'm just over here running my mouth, shooting the shits with fam, all right? And having a discussion about these two. Okay, the celebrity news for today is Jeezy and uh, Jeannie Mai's relationship timeline, the way they were, the way they were. Okay, uh, let's see here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It says Jeezy and Gina Mai were married for less than three years when they decided to go their separate ways. The pair who met in 2018 announced their engagement in April of 2020. Later that year, their romance made waves when Maya revealed she couldn't wait to submit to her new husband. <laughs> Ooh, submit is a very strong word. We need to have some breakdown. We need to have some clarification. Yes, what are you talking about? Submitting. All right. Can't submit, submit to everybody. Submit. You can't submit to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, in order for us to make the music, we can together. In order for us to do our dance in life, I have to allow him to be the framework for our marriage and our life. The real host explains to us weekly. He knows enough to ask me the questions to incorporate what I want to build into the vision of us together. I am so excited to submit because in my life, I am such a boss. I'm a boss in the way I wake up, the job that I choose, my career path, the people I hang out with. With, even where to eat and what to do in one 24 hour day is all my decision. Okay, girl. Okay. You kind of act like you're a feminist right there. <laughs> well, then again, uh, after time of the night in April 2021, Jeezy and Maya welcomed daughter Monaco in January 2022. Jeezy also shares Jardis with his ex, Tanisha Dykes, Am Amura with Malet. Down the ghosty, the brigosi, or something like that, and saw Sheham with another previous partner. Now, see, damn, I ain't know Jesus even had children. He got two other children out there. Jesus, this is your second marriage, son. I don't think you need to get involved in marriage anymore. Just have a relationship situation going on. That's all you need. Because it's evident that you're not going to play fair. They're not going to play fair. And see, Jen and mine's not paying for, playing fair right now, okay? Because how it seems, uh, she wants to get back with you. She don't want to have a divorce. But you went down there to the Fulton County Courthouse. Yes, you did. And put them papers in. All right. We're going back to the article. It says, nearly one year after Maya uh, gave birth, Jesus filed for divorce from Maya in September of 2023. This is the time we're in now. All right. That's why I guess they call it an exclusive. But anyway, uh, keep scrolling to see Maya and Jeezy's relationship timeline. Okay, 19, November 2018, after meeting on the set of Little Real, the pair went on their first date. I just got to know him in November, Maya said on an episode of the former talk show in September 2019. He's re in retrospect, he's passionate, he's incredibly deep, he's a visionary, he's a great leader, he's an amazing servant to his community like girl are you giving him a press conference are you trying to introduce him to another life <laughs> another style of life with another style of people to hang around girl are you trying to say 
you Beyonce and he uh, Jay Z, and you upgraded him. Oh Lord, honey, you look like a clone. But they said he went into jail and, he, and, and one way, and then come back out looking another way. So I don't know, I don't know, honey. But you know the styles. If that was your stylist and your coordinator, you did a very good job. Okay, he cleans up very well. Okay, then it says August 2019, the duo made their first public appearance as a couple at the inaugural Snowball Gala in Atlanta. Okay, uh, after April 2020, after nearly two years of dating, the musician popped the question. Jai decided to bring Vietnam to Gian- I mean, to Jeannie with a surprise quarantine date night in his home filled with vit- vit- uh, Vietnamese uh, food and decor. The rep from Maya told us weekly at the time confirming they were supposed to get engaged in Vietnam. Ooh, child. Mm-mm. Ain't, no, ain't got time to travel over there. Then they find out who y'all are and then they uh, kidnap y'all. Uh-uh. Oh, hold y'all. They say detain them, but they really kidnapping. Okay, well, that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, April 2021, Maya and Jesus tied the at their Atlanta home one year after getting engaged. We were really looking forward to having all of our family, friends here to celebrate. Maya told Vogue at the time, but we had to change all of our wedding plans due to the over. After Jesus' mother unexpectedly passed, we quickly learned that life is too short. And at the end of the day, Jesus and I really just wanted to become husband and wife. So we decided to turn our original wedding into a mini money where we exchange our vows in front of our immediate family and a few few close friends i remember mama ma because she was cutting up on that show um uh, was the view the talk shit i can't remember but even the talk show she was uh hosting with a, a few other um colleagues okay but uh do, 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 do. i don't know if her mom had passed what did she pass from y'all but that's all I got on them, and we don't want no more. They just getting, you know, divorced. It happens. It's been happening a lot this year, though, with the celebrities and with uh, ordinary day folks. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. I'll see y'all on the next video. And get down in them comments because you know I be liking when y'all comment. All right. Bye.